welcome back to Lone Fox. Today, I am doing my own bedroom transformation, which I'm so excited for because I've been waiting to film this for quite a while. And I did my roommate's room transformation, which if you did not see that video, it was so good. And the room turned out so good. So I'll put it in a card up here at the top for you guys to take a look at. But for this video, I'm doing my own personal room transformation. And of course, I have been living in here for like a month. So what I'm doing is just taking out some of the larger components and then putting them back in, showing you how I style them, which I haven't even really styled up my room because I've been waiting for this video to do so. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor videos. And you can also follow my personal Instagram at I'm Drew Scott. I post lots of stuff on there, updates about videos and all that random stuff. So without further ado, let's just get into the room transformation. I think before, I'm just going to show you kind of like a before of the room. The clips you're seeing right now are actually clips from my main channel that are in my moving vlog. So this is what the room looked like completely on like furnished. And then I actually had it completely painted white as well by a painter. So those were the first processes I took um, prior to doing so. But you can kind of see the room very blank as a blank canvas right now. So when you walk in my room, this is kind of what you see to start with. And I put my bed underneath the window. I don't know if you guys remember when I first moved in here, if I even shared this, I'm actually not sure. I had the bed sticking out right here. So then the pillows were like over in this section and my feet would like stick out here. It was in the corner, but I decided that I personally like my bed in the middle of the room so much more. So I have my bed here. The bed frame is from Urban Outfitters. They don't sell the same one anymore. And I just have a lot of storage underneath, which is nice that it actually fits stuff under there because I don't have as much storage as I do in my old apartment. And then I have my pillows here, which are going to stay the same. And I always think it's kind of pretty that the light shines in through here. And this is sort of like the window view. How nice and fresh is that? To the side of my bed, I actually do have um, a clothing rack that has all my jackets on it because on my main channel, I actually did a whole closet tour video and I showed like how I put all my clothes on here and all of my closets. So if you are curious about that, I'll make sure to also put it in a card up there and link it in the description box below because I did already do a complete like closet renovation. I actually did move stuff around and change the shelving systems and do all that fun stuff and did a lot of organizational stuff in there. So I do have that done, but the clothing rack is out here because it has all my jackets housed on it. And this clothing rack is just from, I think like Ross or Marshall's and it was only like $25, super inexpensive. And it's nice because it gives me like an additional rack to hold a lot of pieces. So I put all the pillows on the bed and I love the way that this looks. Um, this one's actually a DIY one. I don't know if you remember this. I did it on, I think on this channel actually, and I love it so much. And then all the other ones actually, all four of those, those ones there are from Target. This one's from Anthro from the kids section, but I just like the colors in it. So I thought I would get it one day and I have my like sleeping pillows here. So at nighttime, I actually just throw them all on the floor and then I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm going to bring my nightstand in and just put it right by my bed because we all need a nightstand. My charger's literally right there. And then I have a couple things to put on top of there and I also want to add a couple de decorations underneath the clothing rack because you guys have already seen that. So that is kind of just already stable in my room. I'm already taking a break, looking at my phone, but I'm going to bring in the nightstand now. So let's go do that and then put stuff on it. Got this kitty girl nightstand. If you're curious, this nightstand's from Ikea and it's literally like $10 um, and it's metal, but it has this little shelf in here that you can put all your options and items and bits and bobs inside of. So I put down the stuff over here, added some of my favorite shoes that I've been wearing recently because they're just easier to grab than running all the way to my closet and grabbing them, and a couple decorative boxes, and just hung up a couple of my bags on the clothing rack as well. And then moving to the left is my um, little station that I have for like filming and editing and um, all that fun stuff. So I have my desk here, which this desk, by the way, is from World Market. The chair is also from World Market, and there's my camera bag right there. And then I do have my iMac on here, which I actually only use to watch videos. I do not like editing on an iMac for some reason. And look, I'm on my channel. You guys look, we're at 40,493 subscribers. That's crazy. But you can typically find me here just like checking out YouTube videos. I like to watch a lot of videos on this computer. And then I also sometimes watch like TV in my bed on here because it's right here and the screen's rather large.
put the decorations on here and I just have like a salt lamp this little thing that says F off fund which I think is so funny and it just has some of my jewelry in it and then some baby's breath my clock and then just a couple other random bits here and then I of course have like the microphone and the keyboard if you guys remember in my old bedroom I had this right above my bed and I had it there forever and it's been in the living room but I'm finally gonna hang it up and I think I want to hang it like right here I think it'd be so good and fresh right here <gasps> is that good Marie? Mm -hmm. Me and Marie just like to wing things, so I'm probably just gonna like randomly put the nail and just hope that it looks good because that's what I typically do. Just gonna quickly hammer that in there. Oh, for a real one. Oh, I think I put it too low. <laughs> is that too low? Yeah, I think it needs to go up higher. This is why you should measure. Is that too high? No. Is that spectacular? Also, if my hair is looking the craziest colors right now, it's because it needs to be toned. Like, I don't know what happened. It turned yellow here, it turned purple here, it's pink up here, it's blonde in the back. It's a mess, but like, we'll fix it, don't worry. <gasps> this looks so good and fresh, guys. I'm so excited. Yes. So I gathered all my decor pieces and put them on my bed so you can take a look and then I can also see what I'm going to be using to decorate my shelving unit right here, which I've had this shelving unit for, oh, I had it in my old apartment, but I also have it in my new one. But the thing that I did differently was in my new apartment is I put this three drawer dresser, which used to be in my old closet room underneath. And this actually houses all of my DIY supplies now. So it looks kind of messy in here because I need to organize them, but it houses a lot of my um, DIY stuff for this channel in particular, or the shelving system actually goes right above it and it fits perfectly it's the same exact width I think this is like meant to be made with that or something and so far all I have is just like this tray here which is from Target and I have a couple of my perfumes or colognes and like a couple sunglasses here and just like random things a camera battery my hundred thousand subscriber plaque but I'm going to decorate this with a lot of other decor which is all right here so this first shelf down here is probably just going to be like my accessory get ready shelf so like I have my last spits of cologne or whatever I have before I walk out the door over there and then I can also grab like a pair of sunglasses if I need to um, while I'm running out and there's a couple other accessories in there too and I'll probably just keep this 100,000 subscriber plaque there but I don't need any of this on there so we'll take that away. Actually I'm going to move the 100,000 subscriber plaque up to like there and I'm going to put this DIY which do you guys remember this? Good and fresh. I'm going to put this over here because this is my get ready area so I might as well put this down there with that stuff. This is what we're working with so far. I do also have this large like painting here, but I was letting the camera sit on top of it. So I'm gonna put this just at the top there, like at the very, very top behind, it sort of has like a nice layer. So let's do that. Perfect, that's just gonna sit up there and then it's gonna like act as a background layer for everything else I put in front, which I don't wanna overcrowd it. So I'm just gonna like take maybe a couple more um, little like pieces such as this and, and sign and maybe put this like back in there. Um, and maybe just a couple other things up here. I have lots of random decorative stuff. I just like collecting that kind of stuff. I always go to anthropology and look through the sales section and buy things I don't need. I'm known for that. So put this pink candle up there too. Oh, you know, I'm actually gonna take all of my little random Polaroids. Oh, look, here's my me and my friend Carla. Um, random pictures of me. Fill up the space. So I'm just gonna like scatter them here. Sort of as like a little memory or like some random memories. So I just like the idea of having like Polaroids scattered here. Oh, and I also have this cute little Target piece which can go somewhere. Where can this go? Just layer it like right here. I love layering things. I think when you're doing shelf decor, the more you layer it, like the more visual interest you get. So that's why I like to add lots of like stackable layers. This actually isn't gonna go here. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to hang up my dream catcher, which is just um, gonna hang it on top of this like little blind curtain thingy. And it's just gonna hang there right above my bed to catch all those really bad dreams. So my little shelf system here, I'm actually going to put this, which is one of my favorite furniture finds ever. Like you guys have seen this on my channel multiple times. It's that Opal House um, footstool but I just love how it looks and I just look how good this is I'm obsessed with the way that that looks so I'm gonna be keeping that there and then I'm also gonna be putting on top of this like this box which I'll show you in just one second 
here's my box I wanted to put on top of there. So this box is actually from Lalabo, which is like a um, fragrance brand. I actually have some of their fragrances there. But the thing is that they sent me all this stuff in it and I loved it, so I kept it. But inside are all of my fashion show invites. Like this is like a Mason Margiela invite that I got invited to, Ralph Lauren, um, Valentino. There's just a lot of invites in here from when I went to Fashion Week last season. So I kept all those because I think it's just kind of cool to have them, honestly. Like not all the time do you get invited to runway shows. Like check this one out. This is a Moschino invite and it's a literal tape like what that is so cool so I keep all my invites in this box and it's just like a nice little sort of like memento section so I'm gonna put it on top of here because it just looks quite nice I think I just almost realized it's July, I have a calendar, and my birthday is the 24th, so birthday. We'll just put that on the calendar. I have one of my old DIY projects hung here, but I think I want this here, which is the calendar, and it's on a good and fresh Philadelphia. Um, and it just says, my birthday on the 24th. I put that there because, you know, had to. So I'm getting down to the end of my room. And as you guys can see, I have like a lot of blank space. Like this whole wall is completely blank. And then over here where I just hung up the calendar, um, I have this blank area too. So I think that in a new video, not this one because I don't have the supplies to do it right now. Wouldn't it be so cool if I covered this entire white wall here in magazine clippings and like Polaroids and like random stuff? I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do that. I thought it'd be cool if I covered that completely and made it like a wallpaper if you think that can be a cool idea or something that you would like to see for yourself because that would be such an inexpensive way to like cover a full wall as well let me know and I'll try to figure out the like the type of adhesive to use or like what exactly to do and then I'll do a DIY right here on this channel for that so you can subscribe as well but I think that it's kind of time to share with you guys my finish off room I'll probably add a couple more touches off camera finish it up a bit and then we will be good to go so yeah I'm excited to share it with you guys Wait, I